sunny Thursday, 55 to 60. Tomorrow, Friday, mostly sunny, 60 to 65. A mostly cloudy Saturday with a chance of rain showers, highs mid-50s. Well, programming on Minnesota Public Radio is supported by Concordia College in Moorhead. Committed to supporting students to complete their degree in four years and achieve their long-term education and career goals. Information at concordiacollege.edu. of French opera in the 19th century is that every opera had to also include a full-length ballet. Really? Dance music from the opera Hamlet by Ambois Thomas with Antonio de Almeida conducting the London Philharmonic. And opening the 4 o'clock hour classical oh. Minnesota public radio. Before you hear anything else, a little bit of business needs to be taken care of. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. Just recently, I've started listening again, streaming from my phone, 
and I've been so impressed with the variety and quality of music. I appreciate how knowledgeable and enthusiastic the announcers are as well. I love that classical NPR is playing music that I know, while also playing plenty of music that is new to me as well. It's nice to just let you do the work of choosing the music and performances. My name is Kathy, and I am an NPR member. Join me at npr.org slash donate. Every time you tune into Classical Minnesota Public Radio, you hear member dollars at work. Classical NPR produces hundreds of hours of programming devoted to showcasing local classical music. Minnesota Orchestra, Minnesota Opera, St. Paul Chamber Orchestra, the very young talents of those who are involved with Minnesota Varsity Showcase. Members have created this. I'll say that again. Members have created this amazing locally fo focused music service that strengthens the entire community. Be a part of that. Be a part of something really great. Make yourself a member right now, classicalmpr.org or 1-800-227-2811. It's the second to last day of our spring member drive, Steve, and we've got about $299,800 to raise. Just that. 7 p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> That's the goal. We're, we're being transparent and clear about the number that we need to reach in order to keep bringing you the music and programming that you value. $299,800. That's what we're looking to raise by 7 p.m. tomorrow. We need to hear from you right now, $5 a month, $10 a month, a one-time gift right now of 100 bucks at classicalmpr.org or 800-227-2811. Just think about how you might spend $15 or $20. A movie, nice lunch out, a couple of magazines, a couple of gallons of gas. A monthly contribution to Classical Minnesota Public Radio is another worthwhile way to use that $15 or $20 a month because listeners make possible everything you hear. Classical Minnesota Public Radio is the place that was built by our listener members. Be a part of the foundation that keeps this music flowing from your radio, keeps Classical Minnesota Public Radio healthy and vibrant. Love that word. I do too. Uh, very colorful music coming up throughout the rest of this afternoon and into the evening. That is worthy of your support at classicalmpr.org or 1-800-227-2811. Public radio works differently. You probably know this by now. You've been listening for a little while at least. You know it's listener member driven. That means classical NPR relies on you, not advertisers, not just a few folks with deep pockets to keep it going. We're relying on a full community of support to keep the station alive. We're kind of all in this together. We're yeah. working together towards something that we all agree, we all believe, is important, and that's classical music. Become a member right now. Step forward and support the music you value at classicalmpr.org or 800-227-2811. You already know that public radio works differently. It is listener member driven. Classical NPR does not rely on advertisers or a few individuals with deep pockets to keep it going. No, instead we rely on a full community of supporters, members, to keep us independent, and to keep it all flowing and uh, healthy. That means people like you stepping forward and supporting this important public service. It's easy to do. It just takes a little bit of time. It just takes a little bit of effort. It just takes a few dollars a every bit. month. Mm -hmm. ClassicalMPR.org or 1-800-227-227. Twenty-eight, eleven. Donate now, twelve dollars a month. That makes you a new sustaining supporter of Classical NPR, and we're going to send you the NPR Turn It Up cotton T-shirt. Turn it up. Great thing to yeah. wear around town. Let people know how much you value Minnesota Public Radio. That's just one of many, many different thank you gifts that we're offering to you. See them all when you go to make your contribution at classicalmpr.org or when you call 800-227-2811. 1-800-227-2811 or online classicalmpr.org. Here is Mo uh, Brahms, not Mozart, Brahms <laughs> and his rambunctious <laughs> best. This is from the Serenade Number no. 1, a performance with the Berlin Philharmonic led by Claudio Abado. As you make yourself a member of your station, classicalmpr.org or 1-800-227-2811.
The rondo from the serenade number one by Johannes Brahms, Claudio Abado conducted the Berlin Philharmonic with 15 minutes past 4 o'clock. I'm Steve Sterick. Composer's Take Book is next. Besides our listener members, support for Classical Minnesota Public Radio comes from Copper Street Brass, presenting their concert, Leading Ladies, Matriarchs of Music, a celebration of music composed by influential women from medieval times to today, May 30th through the 31st, with tickets and more at copperstreetbrass.org. This is the Composer's Date Book for May 15th. I'm John Burge. Hi. The American composer Jared Impichachaha Tate is a citizen of the Chickasaw Nation and its composer in residence. He was born in Norman, Oklahoma, and his chamber and orchestra works, all infused with themes and musical elements from his native heritage, have been performed by major orchestras like the Detroit Symphony, the Minnesota Orchestra, the Colorado Ballet, and the Santa Fe Chamber Music Festival. But during the fall of 2011, Tate began working with a non-professional ensemble closer to home at Dixon Middle School in Dixon, Oklahoma. Tate had been commissioned by the American Composers Forum to write a new work for their Choral Quest series for middle school choirs. The resulting work, entitled Talua Chipota, which in the Chickasaw language means children's songs, was premiered on May 15, 2012, by the children at the Dixon School. The songs, said Tate, are reminiscent of traditional stomp dancing and are based on old Chickasaw melodies. Stomp dances begin at dusk and end at dawn. The first movement depicts the beginning sunlight of the morning. The second is full of abstracted textures emulating the shell shaking in stomp dances. For his part, Tate says he's pleased how it all turned out. I was able to introduce a Chickasaw experience to a diverse group of students. I strengthened my own relationship with my Chickasaw community and demonstrated to the Chickasaws in the chorus how our culture can positively impact classical music. Composer's Date Book is produced by APM, American Public Media, in conjunction with the American Composers Forum, reminding you that all music was once new.
You gotta love that about Haydn's music. It is both conversational and singing. It's like singing conversation. Uh, the string quartet number 51, a performance with the Minetti Quartet here at Classical NPR. Coming up on 22 minutes past 4 o'clock, I'm Steve Sterrick. I'm joined by Elena C. Less than two days remain for you to turn up your support for Classical Minnesota Public Radio with a contribution right now. How much should you contribute? That is completely up to you. But please know that every single contribution does its duty at Classical Minnesota Public Radio because we pool your hard-earned dollars with the hard-earned dollars of the family down the street, with the family that comes from across the state, across the country, across the world, and we create something called Classical Minnesota Public Radio. Mm -hmm. Worthy of your support, you better believe it, especially as there's less than two days left. ClassicalMPR.org, 1-800-227-2811. And, and, right now, at this very moment, this is the best time for you to become a new member right now or to make an additional contribution right now because we've started a match, a match from the Member Challenge Fund. It goes from now until 5 o'clock. Your contribution right now will be matched dollar for dollar. What? Dollar Double for dollar? Double your contribution Whoa. right now when you become a member at classicalmpr.org, 800-227-2811. We're calling this a speed match because it's only going on <laughs> until 5 o'clock this afternoon. ClassicalMPR.org or 800-227-2811. I want to thank Joseph in St. Cloud. Classical music enriches my life immensely, and my 16-month-old son, Leopold, and I often listen in the car and at home. Oh, he okay. loves to dance and clap his hands, and when the Leopold. piece ends, he is clapping. <laughs> I love it. I'm grateful that Classical NPR is around so that I can pass this music on to uh, my, wonderful, my wonderful kid and on to the son and generations to come. I want to thank Joseph in St. Cloud for being a member and for passing on his love for classical music to his son, Leopold. And, you know, that's how it happens. You just have the radio on, and kids respond. And it's not such a strange thing for kids growing up with classical Minnesota public radio to grow to love classical music even more than their parents. Make yourself a member right now, classicalmpr.org or 1-800-227-2811. And remember, we're in the midst of a speed challenge match right now. That means your contribution will be matched by our member challenge fund when you make it before 5 o'clock this afternoon mm. at classicalmpr.org or 800-227-2811. Every single gift is important because every single dollar makes a big difference. It combines with mine and with Steve's and with our neighbors to invest in new recordings and new programs, more outreach to the community. Everything that we do is made possible by member support. Members, you are Classical NPR's most important source of funding. Share the passion that you have for the music and make a donation supporting the music now online at classicalmpr.org or 800-227-2811. With dollar-for-dollar dollar matching, you will double the impact of your contribution to Classical Minnesota Public Radio. Dollar-for-dollar dollar match, up till 5 o'clock, up to $5,000. Make yourself a member right now. ClassicalMPR.org or 1-800-227-2811.